you get in eventually you get into a turning point where it's incredibly predictable to jump in an autonomous car compared to a human-led driver. Now with translations, the, the key thing that I want to emphasize is that in an autonomous scenario, you have a full replacement in language, my opinion, because language is something about identity, because language is something very intimate for us, I have my doubts whether or not it's just going to be a thing of efficiency. Even if we're at language singularity, I still believe humans are going to be there to at the very least watch over things, change things, influence things. It's text. It's something, I don't think it's something that we're just going to delegate to machines, even if they can do it from a conceptual perspective just as well or better than any given human. If you look at an autonomous car replacing a human driver, there's still so many things that can be done. All of these other jobs are going to be freed up for humans, for instance, who will still need to be driving paramedic cars, who still will need to be doing food delivery services, who still will be needing to perform maintenance on this whole new fleet of cars, who are still going to be able performing hybrid assisted driving for either senior citizens or people with disabilities who need some kind of assistance getting in and out of the vehicle. The examples for how they can reinvent themselves isn't something that's trivial, right? It's very hard, very complicated from an individual perspective. But if you look at it from a systemic perspective, it's fairly possible to find a new place in this restructured kind of society. Same thing with translators. You don't have to go very far to think about all of the different opportunities that will still exist for a professionally trained linguist. Like I said, maybe they're going to become a validator. Maybe they're going to focus more on terminology. Maybe they're going to become an end user experience manager. Maybe they're going to become focused on copywriting and creativity, there's still going to be immense room because it's not its not that the bar shifts in an absolute space, the bar is shifting in a relative space that's shifting along with it. And that's maybe the most important part of what I'm communicating today, right? The space is shifting along with the bar. So instead of a translator just looking at this and thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be wiped out, I think a more accurate statement would be, oh my God, I'm going to be forced to change. And changing can be very hard, can be traumatic, especially if you resist it. But the key statement here is being being forced to change as opposed to being wiped out.